one person an hour goes blind or loses their eyesight to a greater or lesser extent. That is a shocking fact. And for many people like me, it's for no apparent reason. Your eyesight has gone this far in this length of time. We don't know why, so just expect it to go to totality. There's nothing else we can do. Go and learn to live with it. And that was devastating. The RNIB actually strongly advised me to give up work and claim benefits, and I thought, I don't want to do that. That's that's a horrible thing to do. I, you know, don't want to sponge off society. <laughs> um, but they counselled me into it, and it was it was a good plan. And then when Tim was made redundant, that was that was kind of the final straw. But that also came at a time as a, of a further deterioration in my sight. So again, he was advised to officially become my carer. So again, that was more benefits. But that mm. was you know we were then facing bankruptcy. So that's how we came to be living aboard the boat. And I guess I find it frustrating at times that because I, I can't get on and do things all the time like like I would ordin ordinarily because I'm I'm, I'm caring for, for Tracy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to be around when, when I'm doing things you know, when she's doing things. But it is. It's the silly things like you know. I, I still do my best to prepare a meal, um, but on a bad eyes day, me and a big knife is a dangerous combination, so I will very often have to call, often a good eyes day. <laughs> <laughs> call on Tim for some help. If I drop something, I don't stand a chance of finding it on the floor. If it's edible, it's usually gone because Oaks has had it. Seven Families was a scheme that lasted a year where seven families were picked who hadn't got um, income protection and we were given a year to experience the benefits we could have had had we have had that income protection. So the benefits of it were partly financial, so we received an income to replace the income that we lost, or partly lost um, through Tracy's disability, um, but also we received a lot of backup support. We were able to get things that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to, um, I mean, you've seen the solar panels on the roof, we got two more of those. We got water, proper waterproof clothing, which as you've seen we need. <laughs> Probably got a better quality computer than I would have done otherwise, um, hiking boots. The hiking boots were so exciting, that was the first thing we, we bought with the, the first lot of the money and that just made such a difference because it got us out of the tyranny of the cheap. I think one of the main things that it really highlighted was that the NHS is fantastic in the beginning of a health problem, but there is no mechanism within the NHS for ongoing support and retraining and so on. And the seven families kind of bridged that gap a little bit and provided some of that support and ongoing training, yeah. didn't it? I think so the biggest thing was having an account manager who it was somebody that phoned us up once a month just to find out how we were going on, did we need anything. He was also doing research into what other things were available and getting the backup support there. The biggest thing we've learned is the cruelty of hindsight. Yeah. And it really is a bitter, bitter, nasty lesson to learn. Um, you know, the hindsight of realising what we missed out on by cancelling the policies that we had had all those years ago. The insurance industry I think need to actually push it more um, to, you know, it's compulsory to have car insurance, house insurance and, and, you know, other things like that. It needs to be pushed. Personal stories have got to be the way in to, yeah. to demonstrating the need for it because dry facts and figures are not going to achieve anything. The human story just gets over the fact that it could happen to anybody rather than just the hard sell, this is what the policy is, this is what it does, this is what you get if, by actually having a human story behind it, people can actually see the relevance of it.